Kaya zines, which consist of three amine functional groups. We can give name for this compound as 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 6 triamino, 1, 3, 5 triazine. When these reacts with formaldehyde, CHO, when these reacts with formaldehyde and produces N, 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 So I would like to write in one more manner just by specifying by specifying the nitrogens in adjacent positions the same species for our structural feasibility NH2 NH2 NH CH2 OH the produced species intermediate species when n number of intermediate species is produced from this particular step undergoes polymerization finally yields as the formation of n n n n h it extend its chain n h2 NH CH2 NH Nitrogen 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 here NH CH2 Take an N NH2 So the resulting species is called as Melamine formaldehyde polymer and this melamine formaldehyde polymer generally used in unbreakable crackeries in the preparation of unbreakable crackeries we have to use this melamine formaldehyde formaldehyde polymer this melamine formaldehyde polymer produced from condensation reaction hence it is called as condensation polymerization so these are the examples for condensation polymerization once again what is condensation polymerization so the polymers resulting with the loss of neutral species when the two or more monomers having functional group two or more functional groups react with each other such type of condensation is called uh, such, such type of polymerization is called as condensation polymerization or step growth polymerization so let us learn about rubbers the best examples for polymers which are available naturally or synthetically are rubbers here rubbers are again two types of rubbers are available they are natural rubbers natural rubbers and synthetic rubbers so what are natural rubber generally the latex produced from let uh, rubber plants it is the natural rubber because it is produced from natural resources when the latex produced from rubber plants by using this latex as starting material so it is possible to prepare when this latex reacts with water or dissolved in water so it is converted into rubber the resulting rubber is called as natural rubber so this natural rubber will become uh, will be hardened it seems to be uh, hard here to improve physical and chemical aspects of rubber the vulcanization of rubber takes place vulcanization of rubber what is vulcanization of rubber generally 
this natural rubber or synthetic rubber upon heating it seems to be softened or it become softened whereas upon cooling or when we are going to decrease the temperature it becomes hardened uh, to improve physical and chemical aspects or properties of natural rubber the vulcanization of rubber takes place in laboratory what is vulcanization of rubber so rubber reacts with sulfur reacts with sulfur to produce disulfide bonds disulfide bonds in the structure of in the structure 